So Oscar, um, 10 year old boy, he's really smart. He was um, at the age of three reading and writing, you know, a real, real genius child. Um, loved to have fun, loves playing with his brother and his friends, had lots of friends. Um, Oscar is the most amazing little boy. He is so polite, he's so kind, he's everyone's friend. He's just such a lovely, lovely little boy to work alongside. School first picked up that he was struggling a little bit academically. Um, he sort of took himself off a lot more, spent more time on his own. He was diagnosed as having autism. Um, not long after that, um, we noticed that his vision was starting to deteriorate. And it was at that point we decided that further investigation needed to be done. And we were referred to Great Ormond Street Hospital in London. Um, we spent a long day where a lot of senior doctors um, conducted a lot of different tests with Oscar. Um, beknownst to us, they already had a, an inclination that Oscar had Batten's disease. Batten disease is a degenerative condition that affects the nervous system. For children like Oscar, it is a terminal diagnosis. I mean, there's, there's currently 102 children in the UK with Batten disease, and there's 14 different variations. Oscar has one of the rarest forms. Oscar has suffered with all of the complications that come with Batten's disease. And it's such a quick stage, you know, they, it was meant to be a much longer process than this, but it's all deteriorating very quickly. When we spent, we said six months ago now, he was walking around, you know, with the help of us, he was talking still a bit. And it's probably the cruelest thing about this disease is everything you watch happen is you watching in front of your eyes. It would be quite easy to lie in bed, cry, be absolutely broken hearted, but Oscar's not doing that. We have no choice as a family but to be as positive as Oscar is being. Oscar's family are determined to make the most of the time he has left, creating a bucket list and documenting his journey to raise awareness. I think we, we wanted to we wanted to try and raise as, as much as awareness as possible. Um, we set up a, a page, a social media page called Be More Oscar, and it was designed to share with everyone Oscar's bucket list, everything we achieved, all the memories we made as a family, but at the same time, sort of... Raising awareness to other people what that and disease was. Sharing his journey, our journey as a family. So the Be More Oscar campaign, I mean, what a campaign. It's been amazing. Um, Danny and Alex have just steered that on. They have done so much to try and raise money, to just get Oscar everything that he needs and to make his life really special. We have to be more like Oscar because Oscar has loads of pain and he should have, um, he doesn't even be sad about the pain. First and foremost, we want, we want to fill Oscar's short life with as many, as many Fun, wonderful things as possible. Um, and, and rightfully, and for us as a family to hold on for memories and equally keep Oscar's legacy going. You blow our socks off every day with how amazing and tough you are. Keep being you, keep being more Oscar. Be more Oscar! Oscar is so courageous. The way he has dealt with his illness is really inspiring and he is fully deserving of this award. Congratulations Oscar, well done mate. Oscar, you are our hero. You're the bravest person I know and I'm so proud to call you my son and I love you the strength, the character, the determination, your will for life. The fact that now, through the most difficult times, you can still make a smile. I couldn't be prouder if I wanted to be. I love you with everything I have. Just keep being you. Be more Oscar. Be more Oscar. <laughs>